there's a war being raged online against video game ROMs and the websites that host them. Physical media is the answer, but it comes with its own set of problems as it doesn't last forever. And with some classic PS3 games selling for double the price of brand new PS5 games, it can make for very handsome, but very expensive, paperweights. The good news is you can take matters into your own hands and start backing up your own physical media right away. Using the powers of your jailbroken PlayStation 3 or system running PS3 HIN, you can use Multiman to back up and play your disc and start playing your games right off your hard drive, adding years of life to your system's Blu-ray drive and your precious physical media. Fire up your PlayStation 3 and your PC, because you're about to level up your setup. Everything you need to download to format a USB drive for your PlayStation 3 and install Multiman from it is linked for you in the video description. On this webpage, scroll down until you see the green download button shown here. Click on the button to download the zip file to your computer. Let's get the zip file extracted so that you can take a look at the contents. Open up a new file explorer window by clicking on file explorer and then selecting your downloads folder. You'll see the all-in-one zip file inside downloads. Right click on the file and select extract all. You can extract it to its default location. Once you've extracted the file, you don't need the zip file anymore. Right click on it and send it to the recycle bin. And remember, it's still archived there for you just in case you need it later. Navigate to the newly uncompressed folder and double click into it. Here's what you'll find inside. There's a copy of GUI format so that you can format USB drives larger than 32 gigabytes in size. And you'll also have the package file here to install Multiman to your PlayStation 3. I'm going to take the file explorer window for downloads and snap it into place over on the left side of the screen. Insert a USB-A drive into a USB-A port on your computer. Once the USB-A drive is recognized by Windows, I'm going to take this file explorer window and drag and drop it over to the right side of the screen and snap it into place. Go to the file explorer window that opened when you inserted your USB drive and verify the drive letter that's assigned to the drive by Windows. In this case, it's the drive name subscribe, so you don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but the drive letter itself is drive F. You'll need this information in the next step. For now, you can close the File Explorer window for the USB drive by clicking the red X in the top right corner. To format your USB drive, go back over to the download section and double click on the GUI format application. At the UAC prompt that appears, click on the Yes button in the bottom left corner to continue. Before you can format any drives with GUI format, close out any open instances of File Explorer by clicking the red X in the top right corner. If you skip this step, GUI format will show an error message when you try to format a drive. Have a look in the top left corner of the GUI format window. Before you format anything, make sure that this drive letter matches the drive letter of the USB drive that you just verified from File Explorer. If it doesn't, click the drive letter and select the correct drive letter from the dropdown. If you get this wrong, you might end up formatting a drive you don't want to format, you know, like your Windows boot drive. Once you've verified the drive letter, click Start near the bottom right corner of the window. Then at the confirmation pop-up, select OK to format your drive. It only takes a moment to complete the drive formatting process, and you'll see a confirmation on screen once it's done. Once your drive's been formatted, click Close near the bottom right corner of the GUI format window to close out the software. Now that you have a properly formatted FAT32 USB drive, let's get Multiman copied over to it. Reopen File Explorer and then reopen the Downloads folder. Double click back into the all-in-one folder and you'll find the package file here. I like moving things like I read from left to right, so I'll snap this window into place on the left side of the screen. Go ahead and open up another File Explorer window and this time you'll need to open up this PC. You'll find your newly formatted drive here. Hover over that drive, in this case, drive F called subscribe and double click on it. I'll grab this file explorer window and drag it into place on the right side of the screen and snap it in. Grab the multi-man package file from the all-in-one folder and drag and drop it over to the root of your USB storage. You won't need the all-in-one subfolder in the downloads folder any longer, but you might consider at least backing up the GUI format software if you don't have it backed up somewhere else on your system. In this case, I do. So I can go ahead and just delete the all-in-one folder. Right click on it and click delete to send the folder to the recycle bin. You're done with both of these File Explorer windows at this point. You can close them both out by clicking the red X in the top right corner of the windows. Remove the USB drive from your computer, insert it into the rightmost USB port on your PS3 and turn it on. That's everything you have to do with your PC. You can transition over to your PS3 for the remainder of the guide. A quick note here, if you're using a system that runs on PS3 HIN, go ahead and activate HIN now. 
From the cross media bar of your PlayStation 3, one of the quick tests you can do to make sure that you have a compatible USB drive for your PS3 is just scroll over to the photo tab. If you have a compatible USB drive, you'll see the name of that drive listed here. All right, let's get Multiman installed on your system. To do this, continue to scroll to the right on the cross media bar until you get to the game tab. Scroll down to the bottom of the game tab and you'll see the package manager. Select it with the X button. In the package manager submenu, scroll down to the listing for install package files and select it with X. Finally, scroll down to the bottom to the listing for standard. That represents your USB drive storage. Select standard with X. You'll see the name of the package file here. Select it with the X button and the package file for Multiman will be installed to your system. It's a pretty small package file, so it should only take a moment to complete the installation process. See how fast that went? That was in real time. Once the process is complete, press the circle button to go back to the game tab on the cross media bar. Underneath the package manager, you'll see a new listing here for Multiman. Scroll down to it and select it with the X button to launch Multiman for the first time. The first time you launch Multiman, the application will take care of installing some key data to your system for the program to work correctly. You'll see the Multiman icon appear on the screen, you'll hear the original Windows XP startup sound, and you'll be at the Multiman cross media bar. Multiman's going to start playing some theme audio music and it can be enough to drive you crazy. Here's how to turn it off if you don't want to listen to it, and you probably don't. From Multiman's cross media bar, scroll over to the left side of the screen until you get to settings. From the settings tab on the cross media bar, scroll down until you see the listing that says theme audio and select it with X. This will slide out a pop-out menu from the right side of the screen. To turn off the audio, scroll up with the highlight to the listing that says Disable and select Disable with the X button. Your ears will thank you for it. Now that everything's set up, let's go ahead and create a backup of a disk. To do this, scroll over to the right on the cross media bar until you get to the Game tab. You won't see anything here yet because, well, we haven't backed up anything yet. Go ahead and insert the game you want to back up, in this case, Tron Evolution. You'll see some artwork for the game pop up in the Game tab, and you're ready to do the backup. To do this, press the Triangle button and you'll pull out a side cart menu. Near the bottom of this menu, you'll see a listing that says Create ISO. Scroll down to it with the highlight and select it with X. And remember, ISOs are the miracle, man. You'll see a pop-out appear with a list of storage locations where you can create the backup. In this case, we're going to put it on the hard drive, so the only option here is PS3 hard drive. Select it with the X button to choose this location. Then be prepared to hurry up and wait while the system does its job. This game only took about 12 or 13 minutes to complete, but some larger PS3 titles can take around an hour. Once the backup process is complete, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Select OK with the X button to continue. What happens is now in the game tab, you're gonna see two different listings for the same title. One of them is going to be the disc itself and the other is gonna be the backup that you just created and placed on your hard drive. Go ahead and eject the disc that you just backed up from your PS3. It kind of seems like the logical thing to do here to get rid of the duplicate copy of the game in the listing is to just refresh the listings here, right? Yeah, it doesn't work. Here's a workaround that makes this work properly though. From the cross media bar of Multiman, scroll all the way over to the left to the listing that says MMCM. Press up on the D-pad to go all the way to the bottom of the listings. If you keep pressing up several times, you're gonna see a listing here that says Restart. This doesn't restart your PlayStation 3, it only restarts Multiman. Once you highlight a restart, press the X button. At the confirmation message that appears, slide over to Yes with the D-pad and press the X button. Once Multiman restarts, go back over to the right until you get to the Game tab. See, now you only see one listing for the game and it's the one installed to your hard drive. Okay, let's put things to the test. Press the X button to load your game. You see at its core, Multiman is a disc loader. Think of it like taking a virtual disc and loading it into your PS3. Now, just like with a physical disc, you can scroll up to the disc listing in the Game tab and select it with X to launch your game. And just like that, you'll be on the grid, ready to fight for the users. It's awesome that you have your games backed up in .iso format on your PS3, but there's one little problem. They're imprisoned on there. However, there is one way that you can get them off of your PS3 and archive them somewhere for use in things like emulation. This video shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comment will show you how to use FTP to move files back and forth between your PS3 and your PC.